Hi everybody, um, I'm back with part two of my video, um, that I posted like a day ago or something like that. Um, my friend Ellie was really kind enough to send me the questions and I'm going to be reading each question individually and give my response to each of those questions. So she sent me, I think she sent me 13 questions. Yeah, 13 questions. And I'm gonna try, try to uh, respond to them honestly as I can. So, yeah. Um, My name is Trisha, um, yeah, and then the first one, I mean the second question is, how old am I, and, oh, how old was I when I realized I had anxiety, that's question two, and I'd have to say I, I realized, um, I had it when I was young, young, like a young age, but I'm not really sure the exact age for that. So I'm going to say around four, maybe? Yeah, four. And then three is, are you diagnosed? And I'd say... No, because uh, I haven't gotten tested for it, but I do show, um, like, the majority of the signs that are listed for all the types of anxieties. So, and I go see a psychologist and, and stuff, so, yeah, pretty much. Question four, do I remember my first anxiety attack? Um, honestly, I don't. I just remember um, freaking out. And I don't even remember what it was over. But I just remember freaking out and going into hysterics. Because of something my mom said to me, or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, geez. Number five is a lot of question. Um, I'm going to try to keep this simple minded as possible. But what triggers them is a bunch of different things for me um, personal issues. Um, resentment towards myself, resentment towards, like, situations I've been in, so, and a lot more other stuff that I don't really want to say, because, you know, it's not my thing to say or talk about. Um... Uh, six is, do I get any warning signs? If yes, what? Um, I wouldn't really call them warning signs, like the generic warning signs. But, um, as I mentioned mm -hmm. in the first part, um, is I'll get very depressed, waking up to an anxiety attack or a meltdown whatever you want to say, um, and I get very kind of just irritated and very, like, stressed out, and my blood pressure gets really, really high, and, 
it, it's like very bad because I get very depressed very easily. But yeah, um, number seven asked me, "What happens after you have an attack?" Well, during an attack, buddy, you okay? Alright, he's okay. Um. During an attack, I'm gonna go in a little off the beaten topic here, or the topic at hand. But during an attack, usually what happens is um, your palms, your your body just goes numb. You're unable to breathe. You feel like there's like rocks on your chest. And you can't really equate what's happening in your brain to reality. It's where it kind of messes messes with your brain all the way. I know for me when I when I you know I'm starting to have a meltdown or anxiety attack or panic attack. Um, if you guys have ever seen a big like if you get if you guys have ever seen old films or old you know you know movies with like flashbacks in it and other stuff but well, like what I do is I um what happens is I turn seeming, seemingly positive images for my memories into negative um, in two negative scenarios. So let's say, um, let's say my one friend and I have just gone and seen a movie or seen a show at the matinee or whatever. And, uh, and you know, I'm, I haven't been feeling good leading up to it so what 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 will happen is um Okay, well, uh, what will happen is, is like me and my friend are going to the movies, and you know, I'm thinking the worst possible possible scenario. So, meaning there could be a fight, there could be um, something dramatic that happens to either of us. And and um, you know it's it all comes from memory. So like, if my one friend uh, took pity on me, 
just because of the way I am. Um, of course, the day after, I have an anxiety attack about, you know, something pity or the situation that I'm in and how I live and the way I live and the way I function. You know, it, it could mean several different things. Um, but usually what happens afterwards is I can't, like, breathe properly for, like, a week. <laughs> um, I need to, um, I need to rest my, uh, brain for, like, a few days for me to start equalizing my breathing. Um, and, you know, it, it really kind of stinks having um, any of that happen um, because, excuse me, um, because when, when you're having an anxiety attack, you feel so helpless and you just want to, you know, crawl up in a ball and hide until it passes. Well, a lot of the times, life doesn't work out like that. So, you know, your 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 um your emotions, um, your emotions kind of explode on your family members and your your friends, the surroundings. Um, I I experienced one in Disney in Disney World. Um, and it was just bad, um, people were watching me have one, um, it, it was really bad, um, that's all I gotta say on that one. Number eight says, well, ask me, what do, wait, yeah, what do you wish people would stop saying about anxiety? Well, I wish people stopped, um, kind of sugarcoating it, um, a lot. Because my parents' way of thinking is when I do have these these attacks, um, per, per se, is that my mom thinks it's, oh, she's just having a temper tantrum. Now, mind you, she, she has anxiety as well. OCD, uh, but she doesn't want to, you know, admit that, Trish, you know, needs to get some medication or get some help with her issues and, you know, whatever, and then my dad says, she doesn't, she doesn't have anxiety, she was just flipping out on her mom or me, because I, because we didn't let her have something. And it's not a temper tantrum. It's not. There's a big difference between temper tantrums and anxiety attacks. Yes, they can correspond, but temper tantrums is the cousin of it. Of, well, it's not even a cousin. It's just, it's just out of anger. Anxiety is out of fear and anger and sadness, depression, and a lot of other words that I can't even think of right now. So that was question number eight. And...
number nine. Um, well, it's kind of it's kind of the same question as number eight. So, um, well, I'll just answer the first part of number nine because, like I said, um, because, like I said, I already answered the other half of the question in number eight. So, yeah. She asked me, what do I wish people would stop doing? Yeah. Oh, okay, this is a little bit different. Um, she asked me, holy sh- <laughs> Boys, no. Number nine asked me, what do you wish people would, people would stop doing slash saying when you're having an anxiety attack? Well, this is actually one of my triggers, but I hate when people yell at me uh, to stop having my moment when I have no idea how to control it, how to prevent it, and how to control its mag magnitude. So, yeah. How does it affect my affect my everyday life? Um, um, as a lot of you know, because I'm doing YouTube, I love performing. Um, I love being on stage and performing for people and making them smile and you know happy that they came to the any performance, you know. And sometimes I don't even audition for things that I could easily have gotten. But I have anxiety, insecurities, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So it really affects my everyday life because when you want to say something, you are anxious and you can't. You are with like held back from saying what you really want to say. Number eleven. It's it asked me or she asked me. What do you do to try to control? Wait, what do you do to try? Controlling your anxiety. Well, I try to eat a lot So I don't have a chance to, chance to talk I try to avoid the the person's eye contact
Number 12 asked me, what do I wish? Oh. Yeah, what do I wish people would understand about it? That a lot of people think, oh, it's anxiety. It'll be over before you know it. But it's never truly over. You always have it. 13 is what is my most memorable, memorable anxiety attack? Well, I have many, but I think Animal Kingdom and Walt Disney World. Um, so, yeah, um, thank you to Ellie for letting me participate in her documentary. Um, it's really been a pleasure doing these two videos for all of you guys and um for any of you watching this on my youtube channel um thank you so much for watching and letting me talk your ear off um so i'll see you guys soon thank you guys so much bye